So today, I'm gonna to be showing you some shortcuts and tips to help you make your edit more productive. Uh, you don't necessarily need to use shortcut for these particular tips. These tips and shortcuts actually apply across any other video editing software. But in this case, I'm gonna be using Shotcut as the platform to show you how you could speed up your edits, give you some tips and some heuristics to make sure that you're more productive. And also, more importantly, you don't lose your work. I'm just a normal person with no video editing background who wanted to start making YouTube videos and maybe cool transitions and effects. I don't really plan on being a professional video editor, so I was looking for a free, easy to learn video editing software. Luckily, I stumbled on Shotcut, a free open source video editing program that can do many of the tricks you can do on more enterprise video editors like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, but with a much simpler and leaner interface, thus dramatically shortening the learning curve. It just takes using your imagination. So let's learn together. So to get started, I am using Shotcut version 20.11. Point two eight, And so make sure you have at least that version to make sure that my tips will work with your shortcut. Now this tip should apply to any software you use, not just shortcut. It'll make your workflow more streamlined and efficient. Did you know that shortcut has an index of all their keyboard shortcuts? Keyboard Shortcuts has probably helped me personally cut down my editing time and sped up my workflow. Don't worry, I'll provide you a link to the shortcuts at the end of this video as well as all other assets I talk about for free. So I've been using Shortcut exclusively for a little bit more than a year now and by no means do I have all the shortcuts memorized and you don't need to. I suggest to memorize maybe the top 10 functions you most commonly use. I'll show you a few that I use most. These are relatively common and seem simple, but every second counts, especially if you're on deadline. The most common combination I probably use is copying and pasting. Instead of continually going to edit, then copy, then edit, then paste. I just remember control C is copy and control V is paste. So if I wanna copy a section of a clip and then repeat it over and over again, I just select it and click control C. Then, control V, control V, control V, control V, control V, however many times I want to repeat it. Next is playing and pausing your timeline. This is simple because it's just the space bar. Click the space bar once to play and click it again to pause and so on and so forth. Next is arguably the most important keyboard shortcut of them all, saving. And that's just control S. I actually make a habit of pressing control S every 10 changes I make, just as an insurance policy because I'm paranoid and I know how it feels to lose work. When I work on the timeline, I like stacking multiple tracks. Traditionally, when I want to add a new video track, I right click track V1, I choose track operations, then select add video track. But all you have to do is press control I. The same thing with adding a new audio track you just press control U. 
there are times that you want to screen capture and save one frame of your video as an image. The traditional way of doing it is going to the frame you want to capture, then going to File, Export Frame, then Save. You can quickly get there by pressing Control-Shift-E. My last one is splitting a video clip. In many of my tutorials, I show you the long way by going to the spot you want to split, then going to the split at playhead icon. In my own edits, I actually just press S. It does the same thing. And I can add as many splits quickly doing that that way. And those are my favorites. If you want to check out all the available keyboard shortcuts for Shotcut, I've included the link in the comment section of this video. I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't yet, go visit my channel. I'm sure you'll find tons of Shotcut related videos. And don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I drop a new Shotcut related tutorial. Every video on my channel was done on Shotcut. So aside from examples of what Shotcut can do, you can also visit my playlist of tips and tutorials, all geared toward the beginner. Visit my Shotcut tips and tricks playlist and learn all the tips and tricks I've learned during my journey toward video editing. So once again, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.